We are here with Congressman Don Manzullo. Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you, Bob. What's your reaction to uh, what the Supreme Court well, said? Well, I, I read abstracts of the decision this afternoon, and the court uh, said simply that immigration law is a federal issue. Uh, the federal uh, government uh, uh, usurps, uh, bypasses all state uh, legislation mm -hmm. uh, that's not consistent with it. In uh, states that try to make a crime, out of a person being here illegal, uh, add to the immigration law. Therefore, those laws are are unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. the um, The problem is that this is a federal mandate uh, that's not being enforced by the federal government on itself, and the states uh, who are bearing the brunt of the lack of enforcement are trying to enforce it. And now the courts are saying that you can't do it. So it really doesn't solve any problems. Yeah, another decision that we're all waiting for in the next few days is the Affordable Care Act, so-called mm -hmm. Obamacare. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your prediction on how the Supreme Court will, will rule, and, and what are the implications? Well, the prediction uh, is that the, the mandate, the individual mandate, will be, will be struck down. Uh, that's the payment mechanism for the rest of the bill. And so you may have the rest of the bill around, but no way to pay for it. Uh, what that does is it creates more chaos, it creates more expense. Uh, the second thing that it does is that, uh, or the second thing that could happen is the court could say because there's no severability clause, meaning that uh, you can save one part of the law if another part is found uh, unconstitutional, because there's no severability clause, then the whole law will fall. So that's what we're waiting on. Uh, we are, uh, the Republicans are waiting to repeal uh, that which the court uh, holds is still valid and then start all over again with incremental things uh, such as uh, adding children to their uh, children under 26 to the parents insurance, uh, having meaningful tort reform for doctors and hospitals, allowing insurance companies to sell across state lines and um, having uh, small businesses uh, the ability, are giving small businesses the ability to band together to purchase uh, 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 insurance, and then using federal dollars to supplement those state programs where people truly fall through the cracks. You know, it, it all comes down to federal spending and, and the deficit, and I know that's something that's very near and dear to your heart, and a lot of people that are in the, the Tea Party who are saying, you know, regardless of what happens with Obamacare, we still have a tremendous debt problem in this country. We're up to 13, 14 trillion dollars. Who can even count it's anymore? It's about 16 trillion. Okay, so what what is the, as you start thinking about transitioning to mm -hmm. uh, uh, private life, what, what sort of advice would you give for the future Congresses and how we can get our spending well, under control? If, if members of Congress had voted the same way I have mm -hmm. for the past 20 years, we wouldn't have this debt. I mean, I, I've been rated the most conservative member of the Illinois delegation and uh, with a 96% American Conservative Union voting record. I, I don't like big government. Uh, that's the problem. There's a panacea. Uh, that the federal government can solve everything. Mm -hmm. And now we have all these bills, and, and still the Obama administration is making no real attempt to cut back, uh, cut back on programs with spending. Well, these are all some very hot uh, button topics, and we really appreciate your time you bet, uh, here you. with us. Very good, uh, Congressman Don Manzulu. Thank you so much for being here, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay.